will show you spoilers of the entire Sun and Moon set. Be careful. Yeah, Sun and Moon is out. Everybody is shouting out loud. Ultra Ball Cell has not been found. I think Secret Rares explode all around. GX full art to a hyper rare. Don't you think it's expensive right there? Where, where, where can I get more? I don't want regular rares. I don't know what for. How will the rent is breaking some fences? Wet grass acceleration, it makes sense. And Thor's is quite aggressive. Ninja Boy Strike, it's impressive. We'll definitely see successive good players. Know what to do, that's a situation I do. Sniping them all to death, you have no clue. Abilities are in town. Or and Guru and Shinodic will get it down. Have some support, but wait, there's more. Everyone is dangerous. Eevee, it's insane, it's evolving on third. One big bang, you are gone. Aurora with Sogale, yo, it's what I say. So, hey, follow me on this video and smashing a like on the like button now. Cause I wanna know what you will play at your next tournament, yo. <laughs> yeah, and that's it, guys. Sun and Moon is officially out now. Let's celebrate by checking out all the cards in the set. Yeah! What's up, YouTube? It's Zapdos TCG here, and welcome to episode 106. Yeah, this time around, we will review the entire Sun and Moon base set. The English scans are all out, and I'm actually using the TCG online program actually to uh, show the images on the screen. So, uh, I'm gonna review every card here and there. I'll give some uh, competitive TCG information just as always. Yeah, uh, we're gonna start off. We have the grass types first. Uh, the, the first card of the set is Caterpie. Nothing special about this card. Then uh, you also get it in reverse, so I have to uh, click twice to see the other card. So we have Metapod, still nothing special about this card, a regular Pokemon. The thing to note here is that uh, all the uh, Caterpie and uh, Metapod and Butterfreeze don't have uh, the Grass Energy necessary uh, stuff going on because they all attack with Carlos Energies, which means these can actually be splashable, but then again, uh, the uh, Butterfree is not that good uh, to begin with. It has a Retreat cost and it can deal 80 damage, So uh, and it's also a stage 2, so there's that. Okay, Paris, not good at all. So uh, here we have Fury Cutter, quite the interesting attack to deal a ton of damage if you're uh, uh, yeah, in uh, a situation where you have luck with coin flips, maybe with Victini and Expanded. So this uh, is just something fun, but not competitive at all. Okay, next up we have Pinsir, not uh, good at all. It's just a basic Pokemon, 110 HP, can deal 50 damage with two energies, meh. Okay, next, Source Kit, still nothing special. There's the Masquerain, also uh, that one has free retreat, so uh, it's a sweet looking card, uh, I really like the art, but uh, the attack is not good. So uh, moving on, we have Rowlet. This is where the fun starts, because uh, Rowlet is definitely uh, playable, because we need it for the Sejuai GXs are stage 2, so don't forget that certain people think that the uh, EXs you, uh, are just basic, like Flareon EX is a basic, but uh, if you have the uh, Laurentis GX or uh, the Sejuai GX, those are actually evolution Pokemon, so we have to evolve them from these uh, little basics. So uh, Rowlet, really great card to uh, put uh, in your deck just to evolve to the Sejuai. And uh, yeah, that that trick is also uh, one of those cards that you you uh, might want to play because you uh, evolve uh, with uh, Forest of Giant Plants. Uh, so uh, we don't evolve through rare candy. You could do that as well, but uh, the Forest of Giant Plants method is better. Check out our episode 103 about the Sejuai GX. So uh, this uh, that trick, uh, Dark Tricks, actually is uh, not bad at all since it can snipe. It can be potentially uh, one of your uh, opponents uh, might only have two HP remaining, or actually uh, yeah, 20 uh, HP remaining. Then you can use that attack sniping. Also 50 damage plus 20 more with a coin flip uh, then it evolves to Decidueye this is not the Decidueye which uh, you want to use because this is just eh and it does deal 120 damage but it's not good at all you definitely want the GX one with what 240 HP feather arrow uh, snipes away damage every turn every single turn you can uh, drop two damage counters and at uh, yeah the, the end of the road that will stack up and get you prizes also razor leaf 90 damage just average attack but uh, yeah with DCE it can uh, attack faster also uh, hollow hunt GX uh, yeah it puts you three cards from your discard pile uh, onto your hand so uh, this could be actually useful if you play a bunch of hammers <laughs> to get all your hammers back but yeah <clears throat> a really great card from the set definitely uh, something you want to pull out of your packs uh, I'm not gonna talk about every single card so I'm just gonna skip the grubbin uh, Fomantis also something we need uh, it can search your deck for a grass energy and attach it to your Pokemon so extra acceleration with that Fomantis but uh, the thing we want to use it for is Laurentis GX uh, there's also uh, been made an episode about episode 104 Laurentis GX it will be uh, one of the main decks in the standard format check it out 
flower supply deals 40 damage attaching two basic energies to uh, yeah from the discard to your Pokemon in any way you like so energy acceleration by your side solar blade 120 damage and also dealing uh, actually healing 30 damage which is awesome and chloroside GX uh, dealing 50 damage times the amount of uh, grass energies attached to uh, this Pokemon so uh, this could potentially be endless damage if you actually have five energies 250 damage is a one hit KO really uh, also something you want to um, pull out of your box. I already have these cards online. I'm gonna make TCG online ma matches soon, so uh, be sure to rock smash the hell out of the like button if you're excited for that, because I'll be making all the best competitive decks soon. Uh, with deck lists, of course, as always. So, uh, next up, Moral. Uh, it's also something we need. Uh, it can put your opponent to sleep. Uh, it's something fun to try out. It evolves into Shinotic. This is where the shenanigans starts with Illuminate. Uh, you can search your deck every turn uh, for a grass-type Pokemon, reveal it to your opponent, and then, yeah, you put it in your hand. Great, great great like that this will be used in a bunch of grass decks so we'll definitely get your hands on a two uh, two of those will be uh, decent in your binder because a 2-2 line is something I like about Shinodic okay next up we have Bound Suite. Uh, this is just a uh, card you don't want to use. It evolves to Steenie and uh, after that it evolves to uh, Tsarina. Maybe you want to play a fun deck uh, with these cards. It's a uh, stage 2 line but with the Queenly Majesty uh, you can uh, when you evolve it, uh, yeah, this is something really great here. Uh, uh, that ability, you may have your opponent reveal their hand and then you discard a card from it. In combination with, uh, yeah, Delinquent or maybe some other shenanigans, Team Skullgrunt, you can actually uh, disrupt your opponent, uh, discard their entire hand and do some stuff. So, uh, <laughs> could be uh, something fun to try out in a fun deck. But uh, this will not be uh, really competitive. It could be, but for now I just think it's okay. Alright, next up, Growlithe, this is uh, not good at all, it evolves into a beautiful hollow, I have that actually, uh, Arcanine, which is a really great uh, hollow to have in your binder, but uh, this is not good at all, discarding 3 energies, 190 damage is nothing to mess with, definitely since there's a lot of grass Pokemon, but you have other fire Pokemon that can deal damage, so this one won't be used, Torkoal, same as that, won't be used, there's a Litten, which might see a bit of play here and there because we need it to evolve into uh, Torcat and eventually into Incineroar. Not, not this one, we need uh, the GX. Yeah, this one can deal a ton of damage, dealing 10 uh, damage plus 20 more for each of your bench fire Pokemon. Imagine with Skyfield getting out all your fire Pokemon, boof, you have a ton of damage. You can just get uh, boost that damage even more, Vulcanian EX, all of those on the bench and BAM, you have one, uh, one of uh, the most powerful attacks in the game. It's not a uh, really great GX because uh, Volcanion uh, is uh, yeah really consistent and if you put a stage 2 in the deck it slows a bit down but then again this card is definitely fun to try out. I don't know how good it will do but uh, Fire will have a great boost since uh, the great uh, grass decks are all around so new grass decks means Fire will also be good. Uh, yeah, it also deals uh, 80 damage. You can flip 2 coins for each head dealing 50 extra damage which is great to have that extra uh, damage to uh, the total of 130 uh, most uh, basic non GX or EX attackers uh, are just uh, yeah that amount of damage uh, or HP so that's good and burning slam dealing yeah straight up 200 damage and uh, your opponent's active Pokemon is also burnt which means the extra two damage counters can get you the knockout uh, almost in every situation so also it, uh, the metal Pokemon are weak to fire so Incineroar GX not too uh, shabby to pull there's Psyduck uh, which kind of seen uh, a lot of play uh, here and there with the double jet thanks to Golduck discarding up to two energies uh, water energies from your hand and Desert Tag deals 60 damage for each energy card you discard which means 120 damage also a fun deck to try out if you're uh, yeah and a, a budget uh, problem here and there this is a great budget deck for you okay there's polywag it actually can deal hydro, uh, hydro pump <laughs> for uh, 30 damage plus 10 more for the amount of uh, water energies attached to him so uh, this polywag can actually deal a ton of damage <laughs> Uh, which is funny, it, deals even, it can even deal more damage than this uh, Poliwhirl, so uh, it evolves straight into the Poliwrath. This, uh, yeah, a split spiral punch, 30 damage, your opponent is confused, and if your opponent is affected by a special condition, the turn later with a DCE, bang, you deal 160 damage, but you have to remove all special conditions. So, in the uh, expanded format with Hypnotoxic Laser, you can get that always, so uh, something neat to uh, fit. It's not, it's not a bad card, Poliwrath. And also there's a Polytoad coming out soon and the Sun and Moon Plus expansion, so uh, there's that. Cloyster, something I would never use. Uh, <laughs> 
Here we have Lapras GX. This could be uh, the, the type of deck uh, with the Water Toolbox in combination with Mana Fee EX, uh, Reggie Eyes, and a bunch of great uh, Water Pokemon. Maybe Glaceon, and just switching around because you have Free Retreat thanks to Mana Fee, and this Blizzard Burn deals 160 damage, but this Pokemon cannot attack during your next turn unless you play an Escape Rope and get out of that position just like that. Also, in the Expanded, Caldeo EX might be a great help for Lapras GX. Also, Ice Beam automatically paralyzes your opponent. It's a GX move, but... Uh, yeah, that's to be expected, overpowered, uh, just to have that paralyzation. But it's not the best GX in the set. It's also uh, not bad to pull since it can be put in a deck with water Pokemon, so there's that. It's a basic. Uh, Corsola, not good at all. I can search your, uh, your deck for two basics and put them in your bench, so it can call for family. We've seen that before, uh, and usually uh, this will... Uh, uh, it's great, but the uh, course law does have not that great attack uh, after that call for family, so uh, also one or three cost. Wingull, not good. Uh, it can deal uh, the fly with the Pelipper just to have something funny going on, but the uh, Pelipper wouldn't use that. Poplio, just the same story with the other Stardust. You need them to evolve straight away. This Primarina, not playable. The other one is kind of uh, heal, uh, <laughs> great because uh, Grand Echo GX heals all the damage from all of your Pokemon. So uh, remember the times with Reuniclus where you can uh, swap around the damage counters uh, well that is not needed anymore it can drop away the reuniclus and expand it and just heal off all the damage with that grand echo gx so uh which is ca kind of interesting to see here uh other, besides that the attacks really suck 120 damage for four energies not even a dce in that matter so hmm, not a good card at all in my opinion this is one of the worst gx's in the set uh, Crow, yeah, the Abominable Snowman here, uh, not good at all, you don't want that. I actually pulled a bunch in my booster box video, if you haven't checked that out, check it out. It was really funny uh, getting all those, uh, yeah, Abominable Snowmans. There's, uh, yeah, a Karadai's ability with Wishy Washy, kind of funny here and there. Uh, Dual Pyder, really great to pull because uh, it evolves into Aranquinet, which is uh, a fire counter. All uh, prevents all damage done to it by uh, your opponent's fire Pokemon, so uh, if you splash it into a deck, a 1-1 one, one, or a 2-2 two, two line in combination with some rainbow energies, or maybe you're even playing water, uh, which could be decent, uh, a bunch of regular water energies combined with something. So uh, yeah, this is <laughs> really funny because uh, you can stall and... Uh, to just demolish all the fire Pokemon because you cannot be hit. Usually fire decks don't play Garbodor, so there's that. Oh yo, Puky Muki. This one is uh, really funny because uh, with the ability enters out, it uh, receives if it gets knocked out. No problem. It's a six HP basic. And yeah, uh, you uh, put six damage counters on the attack in Pokemon, which means this can attack for actually basically for free. And also you can uh, flip coins until you get tails, dealing thirty damage. In combination, maybe with the Sigua, you can see something funny without even needing energies. The pure abilities here and there can get you damage, but then again, you have to be afraid of Garbodor or Muck. Because, uh, yeah, Muck is uh, the new Garbodor, which you'll see soon. Bruxious, not gonna talk about that one. Uh, I can search your deck for uh, <laughs> three basics, but then again, that's it. Bruxious, not anything you want. Chinchao, Lantern, not anything you want. It can deal 120 damage if it has uh, water energy with the last attack. Uh, but then again, you don't want that. Uh, Charbuck, really great because it actually evolves into the Vikavolt, which, uh, yeah, you may search your deck for a Grass Energy and a Lightning Energy and uh, then uh, attach them to your Pokemon in any way you like. That Energy Acceleration is really powerful. It's a stage 2, though, but if you can do that uh, every turn, you have all the energies in play. Vikavolt will be your man to test out some Lightning decks or Grass. Uh, grass is uh, not anything I would use because Lorantis has a better accel acceleration and more consistent variation of that. But uh, Vikavolt, nice option. Togodimaru, I uh, wouldn't talk about this one. Uh, <laughs> it's not good at all. Uh, Zubat evolves into Golbat. Yeah, uh, can deal poison, and uh, the Grobat can also. It's a great hollow in the set, by the way. Your opponent's active Pokemon is not poisoned. Put three damage counters instead of one between turns. So, uh, huh, yeah, uh, it can also deal a uh, surprise strike, 120 damage if it just got into your active slot. Also, free retreat. So, uh, Crobat, just an average card. Uh, here we go, Alolan Grimer. This evolves uh, into the Alolan Muck, which has the same ability as Garbodor, not needing a float zone as, a, as well. Each basic Pokemon I play and in each player's hand, discard power or whatever, has no ability. So uh, it's great to block out Shaman. Uh, so this will be your main card to go when Garbodor rotates out in standard. So Drowsy on the beach, uh, together with his uh, Hypno, it's also on the beach. <laughs> so that is not good at all. We have Espeon GX, which is an interesting card. Uh, uh, for one energy, you do 30 damage and you uh, make your 
opponent confused, which is great because if they attack, they uh, slap 30 damage on themselves if they uh, flip tails. Uh, Psychic dealing 60 damage plus 30 more to, uh, times the amount of energy that's your opponent's active Pokemon. Sort of like the Evil Ball, but then uh, yeah, a bit worse in my opinion. Also, the Vi GX deals uh, 10 damage counter. You can actually put 10 damage counters on your opponent's Pokemon in any way you like. Imagine that attack in combination with Decidueye. Damage counters all around, but uh, this is great. Uh, this is actually a great card because a lot of Pokemon have the uh, synergy with this card. A lot of damage on the field means you can uh, get some new strategies going. So Espeon, not bad to pull uh, Primarina or actually Marini. <laughs> what am I saying? Uh, this is not good. Uh, that falls into Toxapex, which is also something... Eh, just eh. Uh, whenever your opponent uh, retreats, they are actually poisoned. So... Uh, yeah, a 1-1 one, one line maybe for poison po poison Pokemon if you need special conditions on the Pokemon, try it out. Uh, Cosmog, we need that, that actually evolves into Cosmo, which is a rare. Yeah, it's kind of funny, I know. Uh, which evolves uh, into Lunala GX or Solgaleo GX. Uh, psychic Transfer is great to move around all the Psychic Energies uh, on your side of the field, which is uh, great actually to uh, use Max Potion time after time. So uh, also Lunala Falcon knock out one Pokemon and one shot uh, by, besides GXs. But I think EXs will be in the format for quite a while. There are also collection boxes coming out with EXs still. So uh, Lunala, maybe try it out. His attack is over uh, price though. Uh, four Psychic Energies for that attack, way too much. Okay, Makuhita, Hariyama, whatever, Rock and Roll Off, Baldor, you don't want to see that. Also, the Rock at L30, 50 damage, time to uh, uh, discard as many f uh, fighting energies. Uh, then uh, you can actually have endless damage, but for stage 2, eh, I don't know, I think Zygarde is the better uh, fighting option. Uh, Crablower, not good. Uh, or actually, Passimian will be the budget deck of the standard format. Uh, this is uh, Uncommon, which deals team play 10 damage plus 30 more for each of your bench Passimian with Mew. Uh, there's also a Mew. Uh, somewhere, I don't know which shed it's from, but it has the ability that I can use that attack as well, so if you have more uh, Pisidian in your bench, uh, you can deal a ton of damage. This will be uh, your deck to test out. I'm also gonna test this out in a TCG online match soon, uh, since I have 4 Pisidian, I believe so. <laughs> or actually, uh, yeah, I have 4 Pisidian, so there's that. Uh, Sandy Gas, not good. Uh, Wall of Sand, uh, with uh, Apollo Sand, actually reduces damage with 20. Alolan Rattata, which can attack for zero energies, just like the other Alolan Pokemon. Volta to Radagate, search your deck for a number of cards up to the number of your bench Pokemon and put them in your hand. Wow, that could be uh, devastating. Imagine yourself with Skyfield, a bunch of uh, uh, bench Pokemon, bunch of cards, yeah. Uh, Alolan Ma Meowth evolves into Alolan Persian. This is, mm, yeah, not good at all. <laughs> Umbreon Jax, one of the best GXs in the set, uh, for my opinion. Uh, Strafe with uh, 30 damage, you may switch this Pokemon, one of your bench Pokemon just uh, hiding behind your walls, could be something to do. Um, there's also, uh, you can deal 90 damage, Shadow Bullet, and then 30 to one of your opponent's bench Pokemon, because all these weak basics coming around with the GXs, because a lot of people will play regular uh, weak basics, this will be really great sniping them around, and maybe using Delinquent, their, their cards are really uh, all gone, and you snipe time after time and getting uh, your prizes like that. Darkrai EX back in the day used to be really great from the Dark Explorer side, but this is even better because it's only needing a, a Darkness Energy and a DCE, which is awesome. Also, Dark Call GX discards two energies of one of your opponent's Pokemon. So, uh, an Evil Toll with a bunch of energies, Umbreon to the rescue, poof, they're gone. Or maybe something else. You can get your opponent stuck in uh, crucial situations with that Dark Call GX to even snipe uh, the turn after that. So, Umbreon GX, a really great EX to pull. Okay, Carvana, meh, rough skin. This is actually, uh, we've seen that before, if you uh, attack the Sharpedo, you get three damage counters. Puky Muki is better though. Uh, Sandal, not good. Crocorock, not good. Also this, uh, Cro Crocodile, deals 20 damage plus 20 more for each card in your opponent's hand. Hmm, could be <laughs> kind of devastating, uh, yeah, but mm -mm. stage 2, there we have the problem and we have better darkness attackers. Anyway. There's a little Diglett. Also, uh, look at the top three cards from your deck and put them back in any order. Not good. Uh, Tangling Hair is kind of a uh, need because your opponent's active Pokemon retreat cost is one more. Yeah, that would be awesome to uh, actually annoy your opponents to retreat. If there is a retreat kind of stuff, already you want to have your opponent stuck uh, time after time. Alolan uh, Dugdrail might be the choice for you. Also, 
uh, discard all special energies with Skarmory with that DCE, so uh, that could be uh, devastating for DCE. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, so Galeo GX has a build-in switch, also uh, Sun Steel Strike, 230 damage, bunch of damage, and discards all energies attached to this Pokemon afterwards, but if you use it once, you have a free knockout, there's no problem here and there. Also Soul Burst GX, uh, search your deck for up to 5 energy cards, that can be special ones as well, Double Dragon, DCE, Rainbow, you name it, and attach them to your Pokemon in any way you like. A really powerful GX move, imagine yourself a rare candy to Soul Galeo GX in your second turn, getting all the energies into play, and bang, you strike with Sun Steel Strike, and after that there's even another Soul Galeo GX on the bench to uh, do that again. So. This could be a really great deck, although it's weak to fire, Volcanion will eat this one alive, so be careful. Sunball, uh, Schnabel actually, and uh, Gramble are not good, uh, because uh, yeah, there are the fairy that uh, deck that is doing really good, great is the Rainbow Road with the Xerneas, so this will not see any play. Cutie Fly as well, actually it evolves into... Uh, the uh, uh, Rebombi, yeah, Rebombi, yeah, uh, ability with the ability to actually heal 20 damage of one of your Pokemon every turn. So if you need a bunch of healing situation, uh, situational stuff, Rebombi could be the guy for you, or actually the girl. I don't know. It's uh, Pokemon. You don't have know what gender it is. Uh, there's Dratini, uh, which actually evolves into the Dragonair with Dragon Switch, which is awesome. Uh, uh, during your next turn, you may attach. Any number of energy cards that from your hand to your Pokemon, any way you like. Just imagine yourself, the ability to actually attach energies uh, without the restriction of only one per, per turn, which is awesome. So this Dragon Wish is really great because uh, if you use like Professor's Letter or maybe a Fisherman with a bunch of energies back from the discard, bang, you can attach them all and uh, yeah. Just like Solgaleo, attach them all, but uh, he gets them out of the deck. This one gets it out of your hand, and you can attach as many as you want, so this is awesome. Uh, next up, uh, there's Dragonite, dealing 130 damage for 2 energies, which is uh, not bad in my books. Uh, 200 damage, and uh, if you flip a coin, it does nothing. That is terrible. Do not use that, guys. In most situations, you will flip tails 50% of the time, and then all the energies are attached to your Dragonite, and uh, someone uses Psychic or Evil Ball, and poof, you're well, you're going away. There's not that not the way to go. <laughs> Sparrow, terrible card. You don't want to use that. Your opponent shuffles his or her hand into your deck and draws three cards. It's something like the uh, the end, but uh, Pharaoh is terrible. Don't ever use it. Uh, Hurricane Punch with the Kangaskhan. Uh, Kangaskhan can deal 60 damage for a single energy uh, if it's an evolution Pokemon, so that is not bad at all. Uh, you can splash it into a deck if you're facing an uh, evolution Pokemon. But then again, there are better options, which I'm gonna talk about soon. Here we have Tauros GX. This should be in every deck that runs DCE. No matter what the cost, try to get this card. It's cheap right now. Uh, dealing rage 20 damage plus 10 more for each damage counter on him. This is great. You can stack it up, even stack up more damage than you're used to, because with Fighting Fury Belt, you add your HP to. Uh, yeah, 220, so you can stack up 210 damage and bang, rage everyone out of the way. But there's something even better. Uh, there's the Mad Bull Jax, 30 damage times the amount of energy, uh, actually a damage counter on Tauros, which means you can deal a bazillion damage time after time in combination with Ninja Boy, check it out. Also, it can definitely deal some damage in the beginning of the game. Horn attack, 60 damage, and all these attacks only need a DCE. Why not use it if you have a DCE? That's the question you want to ask yourself. This card is really great, and if you go to a local tournament, expect to see a few Tauros uh, running around here and there with Mad Bull GX. Okay, a lot of stuff with Tauros, I'm a really big fan of that card. There's Eevee, which is also a great card in the beginning of the game. Energy as evolution, if there's not a Garbodor or a Alola Muck and Play, you can use that ability and you attach a basic energy and you look at the type and you say, oh, I attach Darkness, I can search your deck for uh, yeah, an Eeveelution, so you can check out uh, the Umbreon and just evolve it straight away. Isn't that great, guys? Uh, the same goes for the other energy, so uh, it stays uh, attach a basic energy from your hand. And uh, you may search your deck for a card that evolves from uh, that Pokemon with the same type. So this is great. Uh, the only bad thing about this card is a 2 retreat cost. If uh, Garbodor's out and this uh, ha hasn't been evolving yet, this will be uh, yeah, a Lysander target, which is something you don't want. Okay, moving on. Spindle. This one is annoying because it can confuse your opponent for a single energy. I saw that at the pre-release. Uh, that is something annoying, but in the competitive scene, I don't think uh, we'll see a lot of that. Lilypop, not good. Treasure Hunt is something I really like. It's just like the, uh, the Sableye, Junk Hunt stuff. Uh, yeah, you can uh, when you evolve it, you can search your discard for a trainer uh, or actually an item card and put it back in your hand. This could be useful with a lot of hammers and hair gear. <laughs> Something funny going on. 
Next up, Southland. This is some. This is a card you just never. You will never use that. <laughs> Admit it. Uh, Trumbeak, something. Tukon, uh, also something you will never use. Uh, I think so. But uh, Echo Voice, 60 damage during your next turn. Echo Voice, 60 more damage. Does that stack up? 120, 180. We don't know. Or actually, I don't think it will. So Tukon, also stage two, regular uh, Carlos. Don't even using super affection. Weak to lightning. So uh, this card, I don't think it will see play. Young Goose, which evolves into Donald Trump. It's true. It's true. Yeah, it will be huge. Fantastic. <laughs> no, uh, Gumtru Jax is not bad uh, since you can search your uh, opponents. You can check check out uh, your opponent's hand time after time, and uh, with that you can. Uh, Deal, actually see what they have, use an N to get rid of their uh, epic stuff. 100 damage for uh, double Carlos energy and a regular energy. And gone through GX dealing 10 damage plus 50 time, uh, fifty more damage times the amount of energy attached to your opponent's active. This could be playable. I really think we can see this uh, situational stuff going on. Maybe team skill grunt after you search your, uh, <laughs> you, see, you saw your opponent's hand. So stuff all beware, not good. Oranguru, really great card. Could replace Shaman if Shaman gets rotated. Once during your turn, you may draw cards until you have three in your hand. It's like a power down artillery, but for a basic Pokemon, and its attack also is really good. Okay, then we have the ultra rares, of course. Lorantis, something you definitely want to pull, that's a great card. Lapras is also not bad. Espeon, also not bad. Lunala, there's a bunch of really great GXs, definitely check out the Sun and Moon set. Umbreon, one of the best around. Solgaleo is also good. Tauros is good. Gumchu is good. So, as you see, this set holds a really uh, nice amount of GXs. And then the Hyper Rares, wow. These are just so beautiful, guys. And uh, the thing you want actually is, uh, yeah, whatever you prefer. You can make decks, definitely get yourself some Sun and Moon packs. This set is amazing. And if you enjoyed this episode, rock smash the hell out of the like button because you know I always appreciate that. And it gives me the support to make better and more videos for you guys. Leave some suggestions in the comment section which uh, TCG online match or deck I should try out first. And uh, yeah, I might even do it for you. <laughs> yeah, that's, there's that. So yeah, if you enjoyed it, uh, show some support and uh, maybe share it around to let you uh, guys or friends know um, what is going on with the Sun and Moon set, what to expect, what to pull, and if you are don't have any Sun and Moon cards, go to the store right now, get yourself one pack, and let me know what you got. Yeah, there's that. Uh, thanks for watching, guys, and I will be seeing you guys soon with more videos on a daily basis. Peace.